camera trouble again, which is not totally surprising seeing how much grief I give these poor things. But anyway, first find of the day, come a long way for this. I think it's a scrunch buckle, have a look. Yep, that's what I think it is. So we're gonna work a little bit in this area, see if there's more where this came from. Well, I've come a fairly long way, only found that little bent buckle. Got something here, this is nice. Uh, been in here quite a long time and I'm in the part of the field which is the part of the field of nothing. So I'm not really expecting to find anything, but if you've got a hot spot amongst nothing, it's going to be good. So you've got to check it out, you know, only 150 yards of that away is Roman stuff and all sorts of crazy uh, artifacts. So you have to check it out, even if you've done it before a few times and there's been nothing. But anyway, there's something here. Have a look. So that is going to be a bronze ring, like we always get, or like we often get. But they are nice things because, you know, that was a difficult thing to make back when they were making it. And it was probably worth more than a coin or two when it got sold. It's just a nice thing. It can be money, but it's very, very rarely. It's mainly horse tack or, you know, things that straps went on to to tie things together. A very useful shape for many things. It's amazing the way coins keep turning up. I mean, I've got a lot of the roams I've got of this field within 30 paces square of this. So I got this signal, I thought, oh, got another one, yes! But it's not, it's a, oh, I don't know, double turn while, probably. And, um, well, you know, <laughs> there it is. I've been over it and over it. But obviously the plough goes by, plough, plough, plough. And if there's anything out of range, it may kick it up, and that's what it must be doing, and that's what you hope it's doing anyway. Well, there's something there, and I would say that without a doubt, which means I'm going to be wrong, that is a coin. Well, oh, in fact I can see it, and it looks Roman from here, it looks very Roman from here. Oh yes, put all my stuff down. This is on the surface, you see that there? Well, no, all of a sudden it's looking too thin. Go right down to it for you. Well, now that may be actually, a, yeah, that's gonna be a button. There's where the shank would have been. Ah, well, there you are. <laughs> oh, this field does not flatter to deceive. But we're getting good stuff out of it, so it's all part of the fun. It's actually way too hot to be safe out here. So I'm coming in after about an hour and a half and I'm ready for it. And I'm by the car. Of course I am. And I've got a nice find. I think I know what it is. Might be something different, but it's nice. And this is what it is. And that's the edge of it. And I'm thinking that's a ring. Maybe not. Actually, now I'm seeing a bit more of it. Well, in fact, I have no idea what that is. It actually looks rather like the neck of a spout. Yeah, well, I think that's probably what it is. But that's a nice bit of bronze there. Smashed by the plough, but still a nice piece of bronze. We'll kick this one up, and there's a coin. This is all coming out by the car. It's gonna be a nice coin. It's gonna be a double turn wash, I think. Don't rub the double turn wash. Well, it's actually got some detail on it, which is good. Yeah, there you go, Louis, Louis the whatnot. That's a nice one too, That that is a nice one too. Very good. Oh yeah, detail. Gonna get a year off this one. At the top there. Anyway, nice coin. We remain right by the car. And this is nice, I see a flash of gold on this button. And that's a nice button. It's a very, very nice button. Don't rub the very nice button. I will. 
see that look so this is a grenadier's bun grenade flames and a bit of gold oh yeah a very nice button indeed in the pocket that one goes well I'm across the road from my favorite field and I found so much stuff there and I found here practically nothing I've only been on it two or three times but I have never found anything satisfactory but it must be something here it's, it's like 30 feet away anyway first find of the day What's left of a buckle? There's another signal down there, which is probably the other half. Let's see if it is. Well, let's give it a live poke. Oh, and that's predicted. There it is. There's the other, well, quarter of it, actually, by the looks of it. Yeah, the other quarter. Because this looks like a spectacle buckle. But you never know, you might find the other four parts of it. Now, this is only the second one of these I've ever found here in France. And I know lots of treasure hunters in the UK find Napoleon Trois. Well, I've just found Victoria. Have a look. As Cleggie would say, good day to your mom. Well, that is an 1874 halfpenny. Oh, Victoria. Long live the Queen. Well, that is a big lead lumpo. Um, I suppose uh, I'll put it in the pocket just in case it's something. Now it's eight o'clock at night and it's 100 degrees Fahrenheit out here, so I'm only going to be out for an hour. And yes, I am perspiring persistently. Oh, yes. <laughs> but anyway, oh, it won't be too bad. And so I'm not going to push it. And I came out late because I didn't want to come out in the blistering heat of 40 degrees Fahrenheit. 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 degrees Celsius. But anyway, here I am. Let's see if we can find some more before it's time to go. Well, this always gets my excited face, but not quite. Because, well, it's not Roman. And it's not a coin. But it might be something great, but it probably isn't. Let's have a look at it, see if we can make out what it is. Well, the first thing about it is it's bent. But it is circular. Well... Well, just well, really. I can't straighten it out with my fingers. I'm not a hunky guy, like some people. But I would guess that that's a token. There's no hole in it for it to be a tag. So that's my guess. A token. And that will be very, very nice. We like tokens. It's a big one, too. A real big one. That could be hammered silver very low quality or fake silver because you, you do get big silvers like that but they don't look like it's silver in any shape or form but anyway in the pocket it goes we'll find out later another little coin another little mite one for the pocket Well, this is the sort of thing that can be a something or a nothing burger. But I think it's a something, because look at that on the end there. That is worked. So, I don't know what that is, but that's going to be a thing. So it's going in the pocket. Don't rub the thing. Yep, that is a thing. If you know, post below. Well, that's a bit of a relic, I think. Don't know what of. If you know, post below. Might not be nothing. Found too many of these in this field. I have. So that was just an hour. 
Ah, I'm soaking. <laughs> it's dangerously hot. But an hour, you can do an hour. I wouldn't want to do a lot more, frankly. Anyway, pocket full of stuff. Nothing amazing. A few surprises. Not a bad little dig for 60 minutes. I mean, meh. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and like. I'll be back. Now I'm thinking this is a Roman road. Or a drainage ditch. But anyway, we're going to find out because we're going to go along and around it. First find is this boar slaying bullet. It's very, very nice under the trees, not so boiling hot as it is outside. <laughs> oh, I think I got a good find here. Oh, yes, I think I have. <laughs> don't think it's too old could be you never know because i mean wild boars go around here churning it all up but have a look at this that is definitely a ring that is definitely a ring and that ain't gone in recently Lots of little black flies here, they want to fly in my eye. I don't know why. But anyway, that is a ring. And that is an old ring. Don't think it's going to turn out silver. Don't think it's going to turn... It could actually turn out to be like really low quality gold. It does happen. And particularly when you see it getting eaten away like that, that's often a sign of a precious metal diluted down dramatically with a non-precious metal like copper. But anyway, who knows? It might actually have something on the inside of it. But for now, it's a ring and I like it. Could be a Roman ring, you know. No reason not to. There's a Roman road about oh, 50 feet away. And it's definitely been eaten away in the ground for a long time. But I don't think it is. But it's definitely a ring. There's a musket ball, chewed on by a wild boar, probably. Well, there's a musket ball. Oh, lots of flies, black flies, or don't know what they are, just little flies bagging me. Anyway, a little musket ball on the surface. So down there is my spot, my Roman spot. And that bank there, I thought was a Roman road, and it's thin, but actually there's another bank here. So it could be a big old Roman road, or just nothing at all. But I have found nothing on this road at all, but it could be too deep, or could just not be anything here. Until you get down there, and they were coming from a different direction, or they lived there and never came up here, that kind of thing. Or it's too deep. I mean, it's hard to imagine that they could be down there dropping, you know, 10 coins over two different periods. So you would have thought a fairly large amount of people and them not be up here, only a few hundred yards away. But, um, you know, that's the fun of treasure hunting. You never know until you know. So can you tell it's hot out there? Well, I walked up that ditch, stroke Roman road, down to the Roman spot and walked back again. And that's enough for me. Sit in a car, run the aircon for a bit, drink a half a litre of water. <sighs> That's my exercise for the day. And a nice old copper ring in my pocket. <sighs> Not bad. Uh, That's a very handsome cockerel. Well, I've been out here for about an hour and this is the first coin. And it looks very exciting but it's not going to be. Could be. It really could be, but it's not gonna be. And no, it isn't. It's a five centime. Sorry, 10 franc inflation money. <laughs> Did look very gold, but they always do. Well, it's one of those brace clips I keep finding, but this time it's actually attached to a bit of leather. 
and that will be because the copper kills all known germs and makes it hard for organic material to rot. Well, it's short and sweet and wet. There's like a number of dark clouds heading this way and it's kind of just crisscrossing the sky. It's like coming this way and coming that way. It's like the wind is blowing in all directions at the moment, which is a bit weird. But anyway, there's a rainbow over there about a mile away and it's heading this way. So I can stay here, get wet, try to find that pot of gold or I can avoid getting a chill. So Chill Bill is going to avoid the chill and he's going home. This is my excited face. We've been digging lead for hours and hours and hours and hours and another iffy signal and boom! Have a look.